Good afternoon, everyone. Sid Miramontes here. Wanted to give you a quick update on the markets and what we see happening here in the next period of time. With China slowing down currently, um, Europe looking like it's going to slow down because the advent of what's happening with China and oil prices may may be affected here. Those may be points that we have an opportunity to take advantage of. Uh, also, there may be obviously opportunity in some places. So we want to make sure that those things that are happening out in the markets end up we using the or well, we end up using those things to benefit you in your portfolio. Slowing in China, for example, um, slowing in China means that well it has a some effect on the U.S. market, but we're not a big export country, so it's going to have some impact, but it's not going to have a gigantic impact on our on our economies. It'll have a bigger impact as we see it in Europe, because Europe is China's biggest trading partner, so we see European investments and international investors probably being affected even greater than we'll see U.S. markets. Though that means because that's what's happening out there, you're going to see more volatility in the markets as we see, as well as what we're expecting from talking to many, many analysts around the, the country and around the world. Also, interest rates coming up here being a, another concern for us. That may end up throwing more volatility into the market. So we have to make sure that with China, with Europe, with interest rates, with those things being affecting the markets, hey, we need to talk to you about what that means to your portfolio and how that may end up impacting the U.S. markets because we, as we see it right now, it's going to have probably some impact for some time to come as far as volatility and what we need to take a look at is how we can have volatility benefit you going forward. Um, now also too, we may have some impact on oil stocks because now as China's China slowing down, China's not going to buy as much oil, so that may have the OPEC countries to produce less oil, which means that that would end up inflating oil prices on that end, which might end up being a benefit to take a look at, at oil prices or oil stocks as, as that may be. So we have to take a look at all different things um, and what makes sense to you. We, this may be a good time when stocks are down to buy stocks that are paying high dividends because you know, stocks have dropped down significantly. There may, there may be an opportunity to buy stocks that are paying significantly higher dividends than what they were paying before because the stock prices are down. So all of those things can benefit you in a positive way. You know, all news isn't always a negative to you. So there may be some opportunity out there for us as well, folks. So let's take a look at what that might mean to you and what, if we can do, what, what we may be able to do to benefit your portfolio. So call us when you get a chance. Look forward to hearing from you via email, Skype, or person, person to person. Thanks so much. Folks, with the, with the transfer process, I just wanted to cover that real quickly with you as well. If you are still considering transferring your portfolio, um, many, many folks have uh, maybe not understood that the transfer process and how it works. So basically what we want to do is try to transfer your portfolio as much as possible, exactly how it is intact. So meaning that all your investments, for example, if they were a tree that was in a pot with all the branches, all we want to do is pick up that tree out of that pot and just transplant it over and put it in the pot here with us just like it is. We do not and are not interested in trying to change your portfolio all around, etc. Okay, the, the focus is trying to keeping everything exactly the same as it as it stands, then making adjustments incrementally as time goes on to dial in your portfolio and get it in and dialed in perfectly as time goes on. So the transfer process normally takes somewhere between three working days to about seven working days, depending on your assets in your portfolio. Next thing is you're able to see your account online 24-7 just like you ever have been able to, to view your portfolio. So you'll be able to, if, if again, if your portfolio comes over, you'll be able to log on to Charles Schwab, see your portfolio, all your stocks, all your mutual funds, exactly how you've been able to see them before. Um, we're also looking at trying to keep your payment date exactly the same as it was so that your payments aren't missed. We want them to be Exactly as if your payments are on the 15th, we want your payment to go on the 15th. If it's on the 1st, it's on the 1st, or the 1st and the 15th, whatever those dates may happen to be, we want to keep your payments flowing just as they have been always and forever. Um, obviously, 
you're going to receive your statements just like you have from Charles Schwab to have Schwab as, a, as the custodian of the assets. So the statements say Charles Schwab on them. They basically will be able to go on, you'll be able to go online and view your portfolio via Charles Schwab. You're going to be able to receive um, online access to see your portfolio 24 7 just like you ever have. So either way, that's a quick description of what's happening out there as far as the transfer process is concerned. Um, if you need help with the forms, They'll take 10 to 12 minutes to fill out. We can either help you over the phone or go out and see you. Love to catch up over a cup of coffee when you have time. Thank you for your time.